Hey everybody, my name is Chris Warren. And my name is Matthew Lopes. Welcome to the You Should Be Worried Podcast. Ooh, baby, morning episode. What the fuck? How are you, Chris? You doing good? I'm good. For those of you who don't know, we're recording in a quote the morning. Matt hit me up yesterday. It was like, hey, can we film in the morning tomorrow? Can we do morning edition? Yeah. And I was like, bet. I wake up at 6. And he was like, okay, I meant more like 1030. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Did you do anything before this this morning? Yeah, I went to my meeting. I go to my meeting every Holy day. Holy fuck. Help, help the young bloods out there at the newcomers meeting, dude. <laughs> young bloods. Tell them, listen, if you stay sober, you could have a life just as awful as me. You yeah. could do it. I love the thought of you guys, if you guys going to like AA and just calling each other young bloods. <laughs> the young bucks out here. Yeah, yeah. Got, get, having like two and three months sobriety, looking to your boy for... Chris is talking to him like a Pop Warner football coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boys. <laughs> Want to get serious about this? Right. I do, dude. That's my favorite thing to do when a new guy is not listening to what people are telling him. And I'll just huh. go, hey, you want to fucking die? <laughs> you want to die? Because that's what's going to happen Holy if you drink. You, you know you know how, like, when, when like, like little league coaches, like, talk to their, like, talk to their teammates as if, like, it's pro football? <laughs> like, none of this shit actually matters and shit? That's so fucking funny. I love that. My, that my favorite uh, was... Not today, but last week at the newcomers meeting, this guy was like, um, you know, freaking out about how he can't do AA. And uh, one of the old timers comes up to him and he's like, you got a kid, right? And the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, how old? And the guy's like, oh, he's like, you know, a year, like a baby. Mm. Okay. Well, the next time you want to drink, I want you to do me a favor. Go into your kid's room and wave bye-bye. Because they're going oh, no, no, no. to grow up without a dad. <laughs> so you want to do the steps or you want to go drink? And Holy the guy just started fuck. crying. <laughs> Holy shit. Can and you imagine I was like, being damn, so emotionally dude. attached to a baby? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I really can't. I can't. Like if you were to if you told me that story and I, and I had a child, I could pro- I probably would yeah, you know. Like, You'd be like, oh, so I could drink if I just say goodbye to my kid. Hell yeah. <laughs> just I get to avoid responsibility of parenting a child and I get to have my favorite drink. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'll take that for sure. Uh that's lit, dude. You Man, know? I feel like you if you were an alcoholic, it'd be like off the drinks at uh you know that place like the sugar factory or yeah. something where they make all the cool oh, yeah. stuff come off the yeah. top. I do <laughs> I do mixed drink. It'd be like fishbowl. <laughs> you know? It's that shit. I can't do regular yeah. uh alcohol. Matt, like, ha- Matt wakes up like and that. he's got a scorpion bowl on his nightstand. <laughs> he starts with a big bendy straw and just starts dude. sipping it right as he wakes up. Scribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Uh, I love that so much. I had I had four different Gatorades yesterday. <laughs> Matt, that is so I much two, sugar. I had two Holy cool shit. blues and a glacier freeze. <laughs> when did Gatorade get to the point where they could just get away with being like, yo, this is like, they, they get away with marketing for being for sports and hydrating you, and it's they have shit called glacier freeze. Well, dude, it's like one I of those know. things where for some reason in America, if it doesn't have bubbles in it, <laughs> you're like, oh, it's healthy. Like, people are like, oh, I'm just drinking juice. So you realize apple juice has like 700 <laughs> calories in it and like a million grams of sugar. Right. Like, it's natural. It's juice. I don't know. It's I, natural. I it's from the glacier. I hate the idea of uh, Gatorade having more than one blue. Like have just How regular. Many blues do they, have? they have three blues. That's too many. They have cool blue, which is the best blue. They have glacier freeze, which is like a dull, a, dull, a light blue, yeah. and then they have uh, blue cherry, I think, which is like a dark blue. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, cherries bro? also aren't blue. I don't like that. My mom got me this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it, but I have to. I the I don't like shirts like this. I don't like shirts with like words. You don't. You know? like, you don't I, like have you ever seen a... me? You ever fucking see me with a word with a shirt that has fucking words on it? Yeah, Matt doesn't make Instead a lot of the statements. the champion logo. I don't. Clothes. I hate this shit. She's like, we have family coming from Italy. I need you to fucking to represent and and show a united front. <laughs> A United Front and wear and wear a shirt that has an Italian city on it. Are, are you gonna? I don't even know if they're from this place. Are you gonna play the Italian national anthem and hold like a, a <laughs> plate of pasta out to them as they arrive? Yeah, hell yeah. They got in last night. My sister's also here from Colorado. It's actually a really cool weekend. She she watched me do. Uh, she got to see me do comedy uh, Friday. She came up to me. She came up to New Hampshire with me and she oh, saw nice. me uh, uh, close out uh, a show, which was fun. Um, that was great. I these shirts these shirts are my fucking like worst enemy. I hate this shit. The neck hole is always too big. Like it's like for a fat person I like I like 
I like the neck hole to be like tight around, not tight, but like when I put the shirt on this morning, it looked like that. And I was like, that's too much fucking neck. You don't do that. You fucking, I like it up here. Yeah, leave I've been pulling the, the back of the shirt back. So <laughs> fucking, so the, the neck is real high like that. Big fan of that. And then also, I'm just not a, I'm just not a little graphic tee, like logo guy on shirts. I don't like that shit. On regular people, it looks good. On fat people, it doesn't look good. It looks like the, like the words like look like they pop off the shirt. No, but you have it so look like they 3D. You have it so look like much word art space. You're like a walking billboard. You I know, should be wearing I advertisements. That. I do love that. But also, that's why like comp- like shirt companies should be like should be advertised. Like should be making like H and M or whatever the fuck Urban Outfitters doesn't have shirts for bigger people. That doesn't make any sense because we're in America and like what is it sixty percent or thirty percent are like yeah, overweight. Sixty like percent. It's a obese. it's a bigger per- it's a pretty big percentage. Uh, and so like you should be making like. Like bigger sized clothing for fat people. We're literally walking billboards, and you can you can like even advertise on us. We don't give a fuck. We'll wear whatever, baby. We just want clothes. We just want clothes. I'm fucking sick and tired of having to go on to like, I don't know, champs dot not not even champs uh, kingsize dot com, and then having needing my shit all shipped to my house and shit like that. That I sounds hate like that. a porn site. Matt, tell, me, tell me when you see something you like. None of it is in my size. This is Urban Outfitters. Yeah, I know, but let's just see. Let's play a game. I would wear. I would wear that blue. No, I wouldn't. It oh, that's would a nice. Weird I think you look nice in that. No, blue. it would. Yo, no, Chris would, would look nice in this. Chris would look nice in that. Bring out my eyes. <laughs> um, you have fifty spare dollars, Chris. <laughs> scroll down. I don't even know scroll what to down. do with all my cash money, dude. <laughs> Can you fucking scroll? What about this zero zero. Jersey no, I wouldn't wear no that. I, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> Man, you look hard. Go to the hoodie there. section. It's summertime. It's, it's summertime. summertime. It's summertime. To Go to the winter clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Jackets, uh, hoodies, and sweatshirts. There was oh, a hoodies and sweatshirts that. part. I would totally wear anything in the hoodies and sweatshirts department above jackets. There you go. I'm sure this is really fun for the audience that can't see. I'll, I'll, I'll put. I'll put. I'll put oh, ooh, see right. that gray? See that gray sweatshirt? You just want a plain gray sweatshirt? <laughs> yeah, bro. Just all make right. that. What, what size? Extra, extra large? Is that? That's not close enough at all. That's like a small for me, dude. What? Do That's you... like. What are you? A large? Or are you a medium? I can wear medium, but for the extra space in a large. Exactly. Yeah. That's like an extra small. A double XL on me. It does not fit at all. It's a whole size up, Chris. It's not like the you you have like large, then extra, 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 and then extra, 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 or just like really small. No, those are actual big shirt sizes. Like in difference. Like what do you normally wear? Three. I I used. I'm, I'm usually a three XLT. Man, when are you gonna come to the gym with me? Get fucking swole. Why would I do that? Because we could get so swole. Going dude. to the gym is like hurting yourself. Oh, it, dude, it's ex- it's. Ex- I got a fun story about that. Okay. Okay. So. Yesterday I went to the gym to do leg day mm-hmm. and I was going hardcore because I'm just like I had that addict mentality. So I'm like, if some is good, more is better. So I was going way overboard on everything. Yeah. And which granted is not a lot of weight, but just for me was a lot of weight, you know? Mm-hmm. And I get out and my legs are kind of like feel a little weak, but I'm like, I got this, it's fine, you know, just normal post workout burn. I walk out and there's a little curb, like a, maybe a two inch curb when you go to the parking lot of my gym mm-hmm. and I step down that two uh, inches and I immediately crumple. Oh, I just no. go like, I make a noise. I'm like, and I just go down. <laughs> I go down so hard. I crumple. <laughs> and, and dude, these two, they must've been like 16. Like these two young bloods, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. come running over. They're both yoked out of their mind. Like they're mm-hmm. huge. These two high schoolers come running over like, sir, sir, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh, yeah, guys, just, you know, leg day. And they're like, sir, no, really, is, are you okay? Is there someone sh- we should call? And I'm like, oh, I'm, you felt like an old person. I- I'm fine, them. guys. And they helped me up. Oh, like they no, helped me up. Dude. And they're like, do you need help to your oh, car? Fuck. And I'm like, no, the, you sure you need help with your car? Dude, they're treating you like an, an old and, person. And I w- waddled to my car because at that point my legs had given out. And I saw them like kind of lightly follow behind me to make sure I was okay. Holy Which, shit. Which first of all, those kids were raised right. Shouts out to those high schoolers that helped yeah. me. But also, most embarrassing, <laughs> yeah, for dehumanizing sure. experience of my kids, life. Fuck those kids, dude. Fuck those kids. They made you seem like such an old person. Dude, they were, Did you fall old? You must have looked like you fell old if they were I, treating you like I an collapsed. old person. Like my leg gave out. I just went, <laughs> Like, you know when grandma falls down the stairs once every three years? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it, it was like that. My leg was completely like, lost feeling. But they oh were. Oh, my God. And they were such Gen Zers. Like, they had the yeah. stupid dangly earring. 
and they were wearing like those stringer shirts with just like the string, and I was like, "Fuck, Jesus Christ, dude, that is so funny." That like Chris got himself in a situation where you're like, you're hearing the story, and you're certain like. Oh, he's about to get like made fun of so hard. Yeah, but it's yeah. M- like new generation kids. Yeah, yeah. So they, they look so like nice. dicks, and they're just like, "Sir, are you all right?" <laughs> it's just so, <laughs> the irony, is, and that is like more bothersome. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like, get no, away make from fun me. of me. Yeah, like, make fun of me, pussy. dude. <laughs> like it would have been so much better if it was like someone from my generation that saw me fall and just went, "Ha." Yeah, like, that would have right. been so much right, better, right, dude. Right. Instead, you have the like the potentially the meanest generation. You know, like they can be fucking brutal. They were so those nice to them kids, and they treat you with the utmost respect. That's I would I would kill myself. I was I was I would kill myself. <laughs> what What got me was the is there someone we should call? I was like, do you think I need to go to the hospital? Like, Holy shit, dude! So working out not going great for me, but we're powering through. Oh yeah, I'll definitely want to go with you. And yeah, you, you could have that, that experience. Yeah, that's some shit you see in a TV show where he's like, Braden, does he have an emergency contact information? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it was it was brutal how do you have like a trainer at the gym no and you just go with like uh your group of friends no i go by myself okay okay my, uh my um because my schedule's weird so i usually go at lunch during work and then on weekends i'll just go whenever i can fit it in did you go to the gym during lunch and then go back to work all sweaty and shit well, no because i work from home so like i'll go back to work from home and then before i leave the house i'll shower and uh, okay, i'll be okay, all good okay, okay. you know do you listen to music at the gym, Chris? No, so I'm pure autism in the gym. Why did I f- know yeah. you were a musicless freak, dude? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I just sit there listening to, like, hottest jams of the past decade, no. like, playing at the Edge Fitness, and I just sit there silently, like, with 10-pound dumbbells, just, like, struggling so hard to do curls. And I'm just like, like, if you looked at my face and my body language, you would think I'm doing a PR with, like, 300 pounds, and I'm just Get curling a 10, like... <sighs> It's great. You can't. You can't, Chris. I have zero shame in That's the gym. That's the worst too. thing to look at. When you're That's good though. I have zero That's shame. Good. I've been. I might. I have been so publicly humiliated so many times that nothing can harm me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! I love. I fucking love that. It was great. Love, but how? But you feel? Are you already feeling a little better? Like how? You like what's going so, on? So here's the thing about working out. Mm-hmm. It's only been like. Um, it's only been like a week and a half now, so mm-hmm. it's not like crazy amount of time. But I've been yeah. consistent. I've been good about it. Um, everyone told me like for years, everyone's been telling me, dude, you go to the gym, it'll like solve your depression. You yeah. feel so much better. You won't have anxiety anymore. Like go to the gym. That's the thing. That's why you're depressed. You need to go to the gym. Right. Dude, I go to the gym. Uh-huh. It makes me feel worse about myself. Oh, no. Like, I do it because I need to get my health back because I'm just, like, uh, my body's falling apart. Yeah, we need to but, be active. Exactly. But, like, I go there, and I just see, like, the kids who helped me up, like, Braden or whatever, is just in such great shape, just, like, demolishing weight. And I'm sitting there, like, barely can lift not even something he would touch for warm up. I right. just look around and see all the people that are in such better shape than me. I'm like, I'm a fucking loser. I should yeah. kill myself. But like that's the that's, that's the path that they've taken. Like they've been going to the gym with like their uncles since they were like 12, 13. <laughs> like those kids who are yoked when they're 16 years old, like they were they were brought yeah. along like just like trying to have relationships with their family and like out of it they gain they've gained muscle. Well, I used to this you most listeners at home won't believe this. I used to be in really good shape when I was mm. like um 16 through 18. Yeah. Cuz my my crazy gay dad <laughs> was was like <laughs> yeah. you have to be in good shape. No son of mine is going <laughs> to not be in good shape. So, and, and and my dad used to do roids. Fuck. So he was fucking huge back then. Like, he just this fucking yoked. And he would take me to the gym and make me do, like, his his roid rage exercises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked back then when I started, I looked like kind of what I look now. Like, I'm just a naturally very, like, small frame, skinny person. Yeah. And he would just be yelling, like, you fucking pussy. You fucking pussy. This is why girls don't like you. <laughs> Wait, is this in the gym around other people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would be trying to. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you'd be like, "This is why you don't have a girlfriend," and I'd Dude. be like, "I'm trying my best, Dad." You're a fucking embarrassment. Everybody else around them like, "Is this kid okay?" <laughs> yeah. No, we got a lot of weird looks, and uh, holy but shit. But the the you know the sheer trauma of that. Mm-hmm. I was in really good shape going into college. Wow. And then I just, the second I got there, I was like, I associated working out with my abusive father and was like, I'm never working out again. And immediately yeah. 
like two years later, cafeteria food and drinking, it destroyed my body. Fuck. Chris's but, dad reminds me of Theon Greyjoy's dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. But also Fuck. not a good person himself. Like, <laughs> <it. Freak>. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> Dude, just wait till I run at that spear from the Night Lord. I'm going to really have a redemption arc. Dude. <laughs> Running at that spear from the Night Lord is just going to be like... <laughs> It's just going to be the king of the pride parade, and I'll be like, I'll stop. <laughs> Someone's going to gut the inside of Chris's fingers out and then and then chop off his penis. All right. I, I, I ruined the bit. Uh. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so that was cool. So, oh, But the guy that taught me how to work out is a, is a friend of mine from, um, from uh, well, actually, you guys know him. It's, uh, it's Cody. Hell yeah. Hell Cody's yeah. been on me for. I knew it was Cody. Yeah, it's been on, on me for years. He's to, been on me about it, too. To work out. And I finally did it, and uh, he's he's been very helpful. Shouts out, Cody. Mm-hmm. But then I started talking. I mentioned to a guy uh, at my A group that I've started working out, and this is a buddy of mine that is huge. And apparently, when he was still drinking and stuff, he used to do steroids, so he used to be even bigger. And he just like his eyes lit up. Yeah, he's like, "You're finally working out." Because he's been t- trying to get me to since I started. Yo, AA. it's so funny when people who work out all the time find <laughs> yeah. out that you work out, and they're like. But he's like, it's like another meth addict doing that. Yeah, this. dude. He was like, oh, you're working out? What are you doing? I explained my work. He's like, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's like when Ben finds out you play Call of Duty. He's like, we going to play? We going to play? Dude, the best part of it is he was like, Yo, you know, steroids aren't a relapse. <laughs> you could do like, you could do a cycle of Trent. <laughs> and, uh, and I ran it by my sponsor. My sponsor's like, if you do steroids, I'll drop you. That's totally a relapse. <laughs> and, and then, and then oh the, 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 the guy uh, who I was talking to, the Royd guy was like, listen, man, you can just get a new sponsor. Yeah, yeah. I'll sponsor you. We can yeah, do steroids. Yeah. This guy you've met like just right now is trying to get you to change your sponsor and shit. No, I've known this guy since I got into the program. He's a great dude, but his, uh, he just got like shark eyes when I mentioned the gym. Oh, shit. And he's like, listen, who are you going <laughs> like, to listen to? Like Bruce and Finding Nemo? Yeah. He smells the blood. He's like, who are you going to listen to, your sponsor <laughs> yeah, yeah, or me? I know who can bench more. And I was like, damn, yeah. okay, good point. So if I start roid raging out on the podcast, you know what happened. Yeah, for sure. I would love if I did steroids, I didn't get any bigger. I was just like roid raging, but still at my current size. Uh-huh. I think that'd be great. <laughs> if you're just the same size, no more muscle, but like you can lift like 10 times your weight like yeah. an ant. I'm just, yeah, I'm just like punching <laughs> holes in the wall. I'm bleeding from my nose, but I weigh like 150 Dude. pounds. Wait, Chris, so is that guy... Uh, at your meetings, like technically not sober, then he hasn't done steroids in many moons, but he's like, You could. Oh, <laughs> why are you saying many moons? Because he used to be the huge. Fuck is that link? Because he's already I love I love huge, many. dude. He's you already love huge. many moons. What the fuck do you mean by that? My brother, what is that? Okay, shit? now I have to take a deep cut. My brother will always say, I have many monies for many moons. Uh huh. So I, I'm a fan. When he Shouts out, ben, give a applause for Ben's brother. What a dude. fucking, what a bad, what a, dude, what a bad vocab. What a, a, I wanted to bring up the fact that um people are like, ooh, aliens are real now. And I don't necessarily think that that's uh, true, but I think we should talk about it okay. because when, whenever I think of like, if aliens are finally real now, the first thing that came to my head was like, we're going to try to fuck them. Like I, I know for sure, like someone's going to try to fuck an alien. He might die because of it, or it might actually end up being successful. You know, it's like a, die trying type kind of vibe. And I feel as though if we were, uh, given that aliens came to earth, that means obviously they're smarter than us, right? If Mm. they got here, if they came here, that's true. Yeah. So if that's the case, then if, if, if we have consensual sex with an alien, right? Mm -hmm. Is that bestiality on their part? Like fucking us because we're like lesser species. That's a good point. Or is that us, uh, dating up? I think it's both. You think so? I think so. So it's like, it's like, like, it's like, what if the horse actually wants to fuck the girl? You know, it's kind of like that. I've seen some videos where that horse definitely was into it. Um, Matt, Matt's going to be at a dinner table with a bunch of awkward aliens and her father that doesn't approve. Dude. <laughs> I would love to experience. He's not a Glorgon. I would love that. <laughs> Me at the table. Just fucking. Hi, hi everybody. <laughs> The, the father doesn't approve. He's like, what the fuck are you? What the fuck is he doing here? He gets up. He leaves the table. <laughs> he fucking throws out his food. He dumps it into the trash. Uh, the whole thing. 
I would. I hope this he is the upstairs. kind of conversation Matt's gonna have with his Italian family. Do you hear <laughs> fucking aliens be bestiality? And they're like, "Mi cosa?" ¿Cómo se cómo se dice alien? What the fuck is that? No, no, uh, every time I every time I see my Italian family, yeah. I'm like a hundred pounds bigger. You're growing in power. <laughs> they're like either they're, they're like, man, dude, this dude's powerful, or he's like. America does shit to people, <laughs> you know? They look, he's in the land of prosperity. Every year we almost starve in the spaghetti look how mines. rich this man is. And I'm like, hey, it's not the 1940s. Fucking weight and wealth doesn't fucking correlate anymore. <laughs> weight and poorness, I think, actually might start correlating more than weight and wealth. Do you think? Weight and what? Weight and uh, poorness. Poverty. I feel like that might oh, correlate poorness. more. because Given that fast food is cheaper now. Yeah. Or like I don't well no fast food actually is it's getting more expensive, more expensive dude there's no dollar menu anymore but unhealthy food is usually less expensive than healthy food hundred percent and therefore I do think that maybe like people who are getting fat or overweight that's probably a sign of poverty no well yeah and I also think it's one of these things where I don't even know if it's the, the expense is definitely a factor mm. but I just feel like you know if you're poor yeah not to stereotype sorry poor people although most of them probably can't afford to get your money up. Can't afford to listen to our podcast. Yeah. So um they don't have YouTube regular. Yeah, if, if <laughs> these motherfuckers can't afford YouTube free. <laughs> but I think if you're <laughs> if you're poor, like you have a harder life. Like I think your average day is more stressful because you're working like a horrible job with horrible hours and you're not making that much money and you feel like bad about that and your manager's probably way it's probably like a worse work environment. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, like you just need some comfort. I think, like, eating a nerd's rope and pounding, like, a Coca-Cola, like, gives you a little bit of comfort in yeah, that of course time. it does, because it tastes good. It, like, it, it stimulates a sense yeah. in your body. Whereas, like, if you're rich, your life is great, and you're like, I can eat the grilled chicken breast. Like, it's fine. Right. Like, I don't need to have can Like, I'm fine. Yeah, but if yeah. you're like, I just worked, like, a 19-hour shift at Stop and Shop. I want to fucking kill myself. And mm. you're like, oh, you know, make me feel better for, like, five minutes. A, a cigarette nerd's rope. and a nerd's rope. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will attest that, not that my... uh my parents are poor, so to speak, oh, yeah, but yeah. they are both, you know, they work and are stressed out people. Mm -hmm. And for some reason at the end of the day are like, I need to fill my body with asparagus and brain octane oil, you know? Ooh. And it's like, I'll, I'll, I, I remember specifically the day, like my mom literally made us watch, like, have you guys ever seen the documentary food Inc? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's like, yeah, the behind the scenes about like how it's just like everything's poison. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That next week, our whole lifestyle was different from, like, years on. For, it was for years on, though? Dude, Because usually years. when when my parents make a fucking food change, that's how it is for that week. Yeah. And then we go right back to the old shit the week afterwards. Dude, so whenever day. my mom is like, oh, we're doing lettuce now, I'm like, all right, we're going back to cereal next week. All right, sounds Just got to get through a week. Just Why are you punishing there. me for a week with cereal? Uh, but, yeah, dude, that no, the alien shit. Okay, question. Mm. <laughs> um, If the aliens came down... Because here's my thing with the aliens, mm, right? Because yeah. obviously, like, I'm into human women because they're humans and they have parts I like. Is like it because titties. they're human? Yeah, like, I don't look at, like, a chimp or a gorilla and go, that's close enough. Like, that's <laughs> never that's never happened. But I look at a woman, I'm like, nice. You've nipples. never seen a dog? You've never seen a certain dog? I'll be honest, like, a Shetland dog. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Look up a Shetland dog. How do you spell that? A uh, Sheltie. My ex girlfriend looks like an Afghan hound. If you type in Sheltie, L T I. E like those some like look at that one right there it looks regal like I would maybe right. have sex with that dog not that one that's a puppy <laughs> that, that's, that's a puppy fucked come up. on Ben but the what adult the fuck are you one doing? the adult one down there it's got to be at least three years old because it's three times seven like look, is... at, like look at that I would have sex with that dog one. if I had to have sex no with yeah that dog. no I get it I yeah. get it Th those dogs probably look, that's make... regal as fuck. Those dogs probably look so good as furry costumes. Probably, yeah. You know if you had that head on a fucking on a busty woman fur furry costume. <laughs> I could see you wanting to do yeah, that. Yeah, right? So if I had to have sex with a dog, that'd probably be the dog I have sex with. Uh -huh. um, but no, I don't... Yeah, I would never I, fuck I a dog. I don't really want to have sex with dogs. So my question is, with the aliens, because mm. like, they're not going to be human. We don't know what they'll look like. Like, are you right. even going to want to have sex with them? It's like, this thing doesn't even have nipples. What do I do with this? Imagine. I just fucking imagine that, like, it's smarter than us and it doesn't look human oh because that's the thing i love most that's women, when, when we go to war when they're them. really smart that's when i'm like oh this is sexy brain <laughs> oh my god thank god she's smarter than me that doesn't make me feel insecure at all i'm really into this <laughs> right so honestly if if you don't like that <laughs> then the only alien you would fuck is if you found an alien on another planet 
you'd have to go there. Because if they came here, they're automatically smarter. So if you're not going to fuck something that's but smarter. But maybe like the smart aliens came and they brought a, a bunch of dumb slut aliens with them. To like woo us? Yeah, they're like. A submission? How do we know that we can even handle alien pussy? Yeah, it might kill you, dude. You ever heard? You ever you ever heard of the anatomy of a duck's pussy, dude? Yeah, dude. Those things are like corkscrews. Yeah, there's no shot. Kawaka and shit. Something that fucking finally something my oddly shaped penis is destined for. <laughs> I always wonder why God gave me this corkscrew shaped penis, but now it's all coming together. Going to the duck pond. Me and Donald getting freaky. Um. Well, thank you. Uh. Yeah, I appreciate. Uh. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this week's episode of You Should Be Worried. Uh, my name is Matt Lopes. If you want to uh, catch me anywhere, you can find me on Instagram as uh, Matty Fucko, I think, uh, for now. And the, uh, I don't know, look me up everywhere. I have a, um, I don't know, I don't really post my date, whatever. Follow me and you'll, I, I love you. Uh, make sure you like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to our channel. If you like it, sh sh try to share it. If you think somebody else would like this, uh, like our channel, uh, just fucking point them in the direction, baby. Chris, what do you have? Everyone, as always, my name's Chris Warren. You can follow me at Chris Warren Comedy on Instagram and TikTok, although I don't really put stuff on Instagram. Um, doing this new series on history videos to, oh, yeah. to, to moderate success. So if you have a history person you want me to maybe talk about, DM me about it. I'm always interested in learning more about history. If it's someone I haven't heard of, I'll probably research them, do a video. So that could be fun. Um, I got some shows around. They'll all be on Instagram. Look there. I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, be around New England. So hope to, hope to see you out there. Right. And then, Ben, you got uh, um, ITM. In the making ITM on Instagram and everywhere. Baby. That's all. That's everything. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We love you. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great night. Uh, and, yeah, enjoy yourself. Have a good one. Bye-bye.